HT Hookmaster Hookset. Is this thing worth it? Let's go on the ice and find out. HT Hookmaster Hookset is just not one of my favorite set setups, but it can work. It's uh, not ideal, but I'll show you here. Take this end. This end goes through the eyelet. Okay, spin it in like that. See how it's kind of hooked now? There you go, and it'll hang in there like that. Make sure you tie the string on, so that way if it falls, it won't fall in the water, because it will fall off. Without the string, that's right, right there, I would have lost it. Now, you take your pole, tip your pole with that little pin up through your eyelet, and then your line goes in this keeper here, like this, see that? Pretty simple. And the problem I've had is the release. What we want to do is you want to set the tension here. See that? You can slide your slide the eyelet up and down this rod. So I'm fishing rainbow trout, so I want it to be soft. Just, I want it to just barely catch, honestly. All right. And every rod can be different. It's going to depend on the weight of your jig. The weight of your bait, whatever you whatever you may be using. Oh, I got a fish on too. Looking at it. Ugh. See when it's set all the way back in there like that, I have a problem with it releasing. So I like to try I like to try to I like to set it just a little looser here. But like that, see? See a fish was hitting it and it didn't set. And that's a problem I have with this, is the light bite it will not release. This seems really tricky. You gotta get the pole holder angle set just right. So with this darn thing, you adjust the pole holder by simply releasing or loosening this knob. You can adjust the pole holder to adjust the angle of your rod. Couple things you wanna look for. If your pole, the angle, or the angle of your trigger to be just right. What you don't want is you don't want your trigger straight up and down like that. Okay, your pole holder, your pole's at the wrong angle. It's so, I'm gonna come over here, loosen this knob, lean your pull forward a bit. Make sure you tighten it back up. All right, now, set this again. All right, still, still too high. I want that trigger to be as level as possible. All right, there we go. See, I got the trigger. I don't like to set it clear back in there because it will, it doesn't release. Try to set it as far out on this pin as you can so it releases a lot easier. There, readjust the trigger. <sighs> now let's see if a fish will show up and hit it. Oh, fish back again. Hitting the trigger and it's not releasing. Hitting the trigger, hitting the trigger. Damn, trigger just will not release. Hit it again, hit it again. Hit it again, he's pounding it, and that trigger will not release. All right, we gotta readjust this bad boy. And we'll readjust that hook master again. All right, there's a fish on, Let's see if I can get this set before he pounds it. All right, reset again. Oh, it went off, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh, that's the first time it worked ever. Oh, and he kicked the hook right at the hole. <laughs> All right, well. Got that stupid HT Hookmaster hook set to work. So it works, but uh, not ideal. Well, hey, I, the HT Hookmaster hook set worked. Uh, took me 30 minutes and probably missed six to eight bites because it wouldn't trigger. That time it did. So, you know, there you go. Um, such a pain. 
I would not suggest VHT. Hookmaster hook set is a no go. Trash. 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 Toss it. Get a jaw jacker. Check out the link below. I'll link the playlist to all the hook setters that we have tried. There is demos on each one. And soon I will have a video out going over all the hook setters, which ones I liked, which ones I didn't like, what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them. I think we tried, I believe it's six different hook setters. Anyway, make sure to check back every week for more tips, tricks, and tactics from us here at Real Montana.